Hi everyone and welcome. Thank you for being here today with me on Storytime 365. My name is Barbara and today I have the book called Snow Bunny's Christmas Wish. I love this book for a couple of reasons. First of all, because of the message about generosity and how it always pays off to be generous. The second thing I like about this story is the illustrations which have shimmer and glimmer on every page. This is a book that's been written and illustrated by Rebecca Harry. Snow Bunny lived all by herself deep in the wintry forest. Every day she hummed a happy song, but there was one thing she wished for more than anything. On Christmas Eve, Snow Bunny decided to ask Santa to make her wish come true. So she wrote him a letter in her best handwriting. Dear Santa, for Christmas, please, may I have a friend? This is the only present I truly want. Thank you, Snow Bunny. She addressed the envelope carefully so it wouldn't get lost in the mail. And she hurried out into the frosty air just in time to see Red Robin Postman flying away. She had missed him by a whisker. Oh no, said Snow Bunny. I'll have to deliver my letter to Santa myself. Snow Bunny looked at her map. I will follow the North Star to Santa's house, she said. I won't get lost, but just in case, I'd better pack some useful things. She packed a pair of warm mittens, some frosted cookies, and her map. Snow Bunny had been walking through the snow for a little while when she saw a light shimmering through the trees. There's the North Star, she said happily. But as she pushed through the trees, she saw it was only the moon shining on a frozen pond. Bears skated across the ice, all having fun, except one small cub who sat by himself, blowing on his cold, cold paws. Snow Bunny thought for a moment. You can have my mittens to keep your paws warm, she said kindly, and she went on her way. She hadn't gone far when she spotted a star high above the trees. That must be the North Star, she said hopefully. But as she came down the hill, she saw it was the star on top of a huge Christmas tree. Animals scampered around, hanging decorations from its pretty branches, all except one little fox cub who had no decoration to add. Snow Bunny thought for a moment. You can use my frosted cookies to decorate the tree, she said kindly to the fox cub, and she went on her way. She had gone quite far when she saw a wavering light. Is that the North Star, she wondered? But on the other side of the hedge, she saw the light was from the lanterns of some fawns who had been out visiting friends and had lost their way. Snow Bunny thought for a moment. You can have my map so you can find the path home, she said kindly, and they went on their way. Snow Bunny blew on her cold paws. She felt hungry and a little bit lost. Then she took one last long look up at the sky, and what did she see? That must be the North Star, she exclaimed. It is so big and beautiful, and as she ran toward it, she saw that it was the North Star shining brightly over Santa's house. Santa read Snow Bunny's letter. Hop on my sleigh. I'll take you home on my way delivering presents and making wishes come true around the world. But what about my wish, Santa? Snow Bunny asked politely. Wait and see, smiled Santa, and with a giddy up, they whooshed off through the dark and starry night. When Santa's sleigh landed outside her home deep in the wintry forest, Snow Bunny saw all the animals she'd met along the way gathered at her door. 
they had all come to thank her for her help. What a happy Christmas the new best friends spent together. Snow Bunny's Christmas wish had come true. Thank you for joining me for today's story. I hope you enjoyed it. Please remember to like and subscribe and hit the bell button so you receive notifications about new stories. I hope to see you again tomorrow for another story. Bye for now.